Good afternoon, everyone. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you all today on this happy occasion to the Corinthian. We're all here, of course, to celebrate the marriage of these two very special people, Lindsay and Cameron, as they make their commitments to one another in front of you, their family and friends. Today begins a new chapter in their lives as they join together and make their legal declaration and solemn vows to love, honour and protect one another in this big adventure we call married life. So this will be their marriage, not something created by the state or religion. It will be theirs to define, theirs to make real and theirs to live each and every day. So while I have you both looking into each other's eyes, now seems like the perfect time to make your personal vows that you've actually written yourself. Pam, to think I'm going to be your wife, I feel a huge privilege which I'll never forget, no matter how many years go by. You are my best friend. To make you laugh whenever you're in a little mood with me. <laughs> to hold your hand, to ensure you're never alone, no matter what challenges we face, we face them together, now and forever, as long as we both shall live. Lindsay and Cameron, by virtue of the declarations you have made in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses and guests, it's my very pleasant duty to declare you are now legally married and I pronounce you husband and wife. The truth of the matter is, as we've often said, had Lindsay tasked us with finding a guy for the rest of life, we couldn't have chosen better ourselves. Uh, and Likewise, it has to be said that the Rankins embraced Lindsay a long time ago as well, so it's been a long time in coming. I just want to take a minute for every day to look at my wife and how beautiful she is. Over the past couple of months, myself and Lindsay, lying on the couch, lying on the pillow, lying on the bed, we've spoke about how I'll show no emotion through this short, this part of my short speech. But Lindsay, you're the most beautiful girl in the world. And I'm sure we'll all agree. But from the moment that you chatted me up in Common Nightclub, I felt I was the luckiest man alive. I realise how hard it is for them to have achieved what they've achieved together. And it's not just as easy as portraying that programme on the TV you see Wanted Down Under. So it's a massive testament to them as a couple. It, it really is. It's, it's, it's mind-blowing. As we near the end of the speech, I just want to say how much of a great couple you are together and how lucky you are both to have found each other. It's great that you have found someone to share the rest of your lives with. And finally, to one part of this speech, it isn't a duty. On behalf of everyone here today, may I wish you both many, many years of happiness. So I'd like you to raise your glasses and join me in a toast to say congratulations to the Mr. and Mrs. Rankin. Cheers. Cheers.